With aviation news focusing heavily on the airplane crashes, what is commonly overlooked is the relationship between the manufacturers of aircrafts and the NTSB and how that impacts aviation investigations. Here to talk to us about some of those concerns is aviation attorney Jamie Leibowitz, senior partner at Nuremberg, Paris, Heller and McCarthy, based out of Cleveland, Ohio, whose practice focuses on mass disaster and aviation crashes. Jamie, thank you so much for being here today. Now, statistically, how safe is flying? I mean, how many people are injured or killed in aviation accidents each year? Kim, fortunately, flying has become much safer than it had been 10 years ago. However, unfortunately, because of the financial problems that airlines are confronting due to rising fuel costs, there are a number of problems, including pilot fatigue and runway incursions, that have caused alarms and bells to sound, which if we do not address immediately and confront with all of our resources, there could be more injured and more deaths in the skies than we've ever seen before. What role do airlines and aircraft manufacturers play in the investigation of general or commercial aviation crashes? Well, they play probably too far greater role because the NTSB, which is the government agency that is charged with the responsibility of aviation accidents, they invite the airlines and the airplane manufacturers to participate, yet it's those airlines and airplane manufacturers that are often the guilty or responsible parties. So there is some lack of objectivity when you have the airline and the airplane manufacturer, potentially culpable defendants, investigating themselves. Therefore, it is critical that the NTSB come up with a means by which the families and the victims of those who are killed could participate in the investigation so that there is less bias and more fairness and objectivity. What rights, if any, do the victims or family members have in the event of a crash? The families have rights now to engage a lawyer like myself to pursue an air crash lawsuit, a civil action, against those responsible for the injury to their loved one or their loss of life. And uh, the rights include the rights to recover compensatory damages, which uh, would mean loss of income, loss of earnings, pain and suffering, loss of love and companionship, your loved one, and other damages. Uh, but we hope that the rights of the families can be expanded by being invited to participate in the government investigation because the families have a lot to contribute both themselves and through their counsel. All right, Jamie Leibowitz, lots of good information there. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me, Kim. It's been a privilege. For the EXP News Network, I'm Kim Hessel.